Hi, in this video I will show you how the adaptive practice works from the student perspective. So this is a student account as we see here and this is the adaptive practice assigned to me as a student. So all I need to do is to click on the adaptive practice assignment and the first thing that comes to my eyes here to see is the instructions, right? So the assignment, this assignment is adaptive. This means that the questions are selected just for you to best help you grow and learn. Once you complete your set of tasks, you can submit the assignments. Or, of course, whenever you feel that you are stuck at a certain point and you need, uh, you may need to review or you may need to uh, study more on that, you can stop, you can exit the assignment, the adaptive practice, and you can return back to it later on. You will find it in the, um, uh, in, the um, uh, in progress. So I'm going to click on the adaptive practice over here and you will see that I will start here. Actually, the system start loading and this is the instruction that I previously talked about. I'm going to click on start here to launch the adaptive practice. OK, the goal for the students here is to reach the five stars over here whenever they get correct responses the more correct responses they get you will see that the stars will become highlighting golden here and so that's the first question here which of these uh, concave quadrilaterals with four unequal sides so um i'm gonna i'm gonna select one of of the answers here um let's say that this is the answer and let's check the answer mm, the answer is incorrect so the system will start with another question um let's say that this question is a little bit easier so the students will start thinking about the question okay and then let's say that this is the answer to the question capital row to Geometric figures below write a statement describing one way the figures are different. Um, figure A has six triangles faces. Figure B has four triangles faces. Um, I don't know, actually. Um, let's say that this is the answer. I'm just selecting randomly. That's incorrect again. And... The system now has figured out that the student has something that he or she is struggling against. So that's why the system is providing the student with something that bridges their gaps in the areas they struggled against. So uh, it's providing the, the student with another look video to review the content of this or these lessons uh, recycled here in the adaptive. I'm going to divide these shapes into two groups. Okay. And, okay, after that, of course, students have some tools here they can have access to. They can have access to the math tools, or they can have access to the glossary, or they can print out something and share with their parents or their teachers. And finally here, they can turn their work into their teachers. After that, they can click Continue, and they can resume what they were doing in the adaptive practice. Another question here, and they click respond. As I said before, whenever students feel that they are stuck at a certain point and they want to uh, review uh, some parts of the lesson, they can click exit here. And as you will see, you will see now that the system is saving the adaptive practice in the in progress see here it's showing that in progress so later on students can have access to it and they can resume what they were doing that's briefly about the adaptive practice and how it looks like thanks for watching